Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you uh, new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. Um, if you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and a Leo-only channel. Um, the links to those are below. Uh, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I give away two four-question text readings. Hashtag reading for that. I give away two $50 prizes. Um, Oh, I thought my face was scratched. I give away two $50 prizes. Just post a positive affirmation and something that you're grateful for, for that with a green heart in the comment section below. And I give away a mystery crystal box. Just hashtag, hashtag crystals for that. Um, Spirit Shield Tarot is currently 60% off. Um, Raven's Rose Oracle is back in stock. You could find it on my website. Um, mystery crystal boxes are currently uh, $22.22. .22. You get a decent amount of crystals. The link for that is below. Um, I am open for text readings at this point in time. I'm open for pre-recorded uh, video readings at this time. And um, and that's it. My cell phone number is below or the link to for my website for the pre-recorded readings is below. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and do a no contact reading. Let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies that are in no contact, please. Cancer babies that are in no contact with their person. What messages do we need to know here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, so we have Love Child. We've got Side Hustle. We've got Love Messages. We've got bad credit, debt, or unemployment. We have feeling like shit. And we've got too late with romance here. Okay, Cancer. For those of you who are in separation with your person, I, I feel like this may literally resonate with only a handful of people. But for some of you, your person perhaps got someone pregnant and now they are taking on literally an extra job um, to take care of this child. I feel like if that is the case, your person is maxing out their debit cards, maxing out their credit cards, um, trying to you know stick with this person that they got pregnant, even though they feel... Ah, okay. So cancer, I see what's happening now. So this may be for only a few of you. Okay. Like I said, someone is claiming that they're, that they're pregnant with your person's baby. Okay. This person is taking up a second job to try to pay for this. This person is maxing out their credit cards, but I feel like this is going to end badly. I feel like this is going to end badly because the child is not theirs and it's too late to come forward and reconcile with you. <clears throat> Your person may have sabotaged the connection with you because someone claimed to be pregnant and now they're finding out that the child isn't even theirs. What else do we have here for my cancer babies that are in no contact, please? We've got Jezebel spirit. We've got secret accounts. We have no strings. We have karmic ties. We have spiritual gifts. And we've got cope. Cancer, for others of you, uh, your person has encountered when maybe when you guys were together, because it's secret accounts here, they encountered a karmic that had a Jezebel spirit. This karmic did not want a relationship with your person. They wanted a no strings attached type of connection and i think that your person is addicted to this demonic you know that's what a jezebel is it's a demonic entity okay and i think that your person is all caught up with somebody having sex with this person that has this negative entity on them um they're coping with this by drinking and doing drugs 
I do feel like your person is going to try to start breaking free from this they can feel this negative energy around them and may, they may be becoming more spiritual to try, try to break whatever energetic um, tie they have with this individual, okay? So yeah, that could be two different reasons as to why you have remained in no contact with your person. All right, let's see. Let's see what else we have here. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about my cancer babies in no contact. So we've got abusive and honesty here. We've got mystery and we've got twin flame. We've got Gold Digger, and we've got the Springtime. Cancer, I think that your person I think that your person is not in contact with you, and they are around. They went towards somebody that they don't really know the truth behind this person. It's a very abusive person. This is a gold digging person. And I think that some kind of truth came out this past spring. I think that your person has a strong soul tie or twin flame contract with you. I think that this person is going to come forward with some very honest confusion. Uh, conf an honest conversation about what they have been through. So cancer, it could be one of two things. It could be that, you know, your person got caught up with a third party that claimed that they were pregnant with your person's child. And meanwhile, your person has been working double time to prepare for this baby or cancer. It could be that your person got themselves caught up with some type of Jezebel spirit and your person has uh, gained spirit, enough spiritual knowledge to rebuke this negative energy. They are coming back to you because this person has never, they, they know that you are their twin in some way, shape or form. Okay. They know they have a soul tie contract with you, but I feel like some honest communication is coming towards you, Cancer, about what this person has gone through. We have crush here and we've got defensive. Cancer, I think that this person finds it a little cute that you are very guarded and not wanting to take them back because somehow, Cancer, this person knows that you still have feelings for them. Somehow this person knows that you still fantasize about them or that you still have feelings for them. They think it's hilarious that you tell them that you have other options. This is someone that is aware that your connection is very strong. This person is very aware that you were head over heels in love with them. And they think it's cute that you're standing your ground and telling them that you don't care. You felt like home to this person and they feel like home to you. This person is calling your bluff cancer. They don't believe that you don't love them anymore. They don't believe that you don't think about them. This person knows the strong, uh, the strong soul tie that you guys have. Okay. They just don't believe it. They feel that you're sitting in a vengeful, bitter and scorned energy they do feel that you have every right to feel that way. Cancer, this person knows that you sit in a very old fashioned or traditional type of energy where when you love, your love is deep. Your love is pure. They see you sitting in that divine feminine energy. This person has actually never really taken their eyes off of you, Cancer. If this was a pregnancy issue where your person was just simply trying to do the right thing by someone that they thought was pregnant with their child. 
they're a little worried that it's too late to come back towards you. So your person has loved you that entire time, but you know, they were just trying to be logical and do what was right for others of you where your person was entertaining a Jezebel spirit. I feel like many of you aren't quite sure what a Jezebel spirit is. So let me look it up for you so I can word it correctly. Okay, so a Jezebel is an, an an immoral woman who deceives people in order to get what she wants. The, the someone that's impudent, shameless, or morally unrestrained. In the Bible, it says it is a whoring, non-believing female adversary. Yeah, not a good, not a good uh, situation here. Wicked, very wicked type of energy. Yeah, it, it's not a good energy. So for those of you where your person was um, caught up with a Jezebel spirit, your person still never stopped thinking about you or loving you. You may have even been the reason why your person entertained moving into a more spiritual realm to try to rebuke, like your person was aware that they were caught under some type of spell. This person doesn't think you ever stopped loving them simply because they never stopped loving you. So they're about to call your bluff cancer. We've got time and we've got marriage. Cancer, I will say this much about this person. On this time card, it says healing space running out. I know I need to fix this soon. I might be too late, but I have to try to get you back. And we saw that even in your Oracle deck. This person knows that they took too long to come back around. They know that a lot of time has passed, okay? They know that there's a slight possibility that this could be over, but not because you don't love them, but because they've waited so long that maybe, you know, as much as you love them, you'll never trust them again. But I do feel cancer that this person is coming in for high levels of commitment. Okay. I do feel like this person has broken free from something. The answer is yes. Did this person make a hasty, rash decision? Absolutely. Was it due to lust? Absolutely. Okay. Um, whether it was, you know, they gave into some form of temptation and got someone pregnant or whether they, um, you know, ended up entertaining a Jezebel spirit and got caught up with that, but they are definitely coming back. Okay. Let's take a look here on, um, Spirit, tell me a little bit more about this situation with this person that Cancer is in no contact with. So we've got judication, we've got lovers, we've got courtship, we've got unexpected income, and privileged lady. false person and imprisonment. Okay. So you see what I'm saying, cancer? This is pr pretty much confirmation. I feel like with the lover's card, again, this is, I feel like the lover's card and tarot here, Adam, Eve, and the snake, there was definitely some type of temptation and your person made a decision. And I feel like it was the wrong one. Um, I feel like cancer, your person can even be caught up, still caught up in this relationship when they reach out to you. So if, uh, something very unexpected is about to happen here, cancer. I do see with privileged lady here, I am feeling a nine of pentacles pre empress vibe coming off from you. So I do feel like even if you do, do still harbor love for this person because of the strong soul tie connection, um, I do feel like you've healed from it. I don't feel like you're, you're able to be gaslit by it anymore. Um, I do feel like what this person wants to tell you is that they have been stuck with a person that is a liar, a cheat, somebody that deceived them in some way, told them that they were pregnant when they weren't, or perhaps uh, was a Jezebel and hiding their true colors, okay? They, they have been stuck somewhere 
okay? They have been stuck somewhere, um, and they have gotten out of it. That is why they haven't come forward. That is what has been blocking this. So we've got bouquet, a gift, joy, beauty, happiness, uh, an invitation. Um, we've got Virgo energy here. So Cancer, expect some type of gift or invitation here. This could be happening within the next 29 days. Spirit, tell me a little bit more about this person coming towards Cancer. We've got the sun, success, victory, happiness, truth, good fortune. We could be dealing with a Leo. So I've got 29 days and 31 days. This could be happening maybe in Leo season. Very positive outcome here. Tell me more about cancer, please, and the person coming towards them. We've got woman, Taurus energy, and again, 29 days. Uh, guys, on this card, it literally says on the 29th day, can you read that 29th day and 29 days? The 29th day would be on, on the 29th of July, let's just say, or the 29th of August. Um, but nine plus two is 11 and we've got 11, 11 here, which is twin flame. There could have been a, a Taurus woman involved here in this mix. I feel like with key under the deck, you're about to receive some answers. And here we've got any day now and Leo. So that was Leo twice. There's going to be some type of breakthrough or solution here or revelation that is coming towards you, Cancer. Yeah, birds, definitely a communication, a discussion here. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. What this discussion is going to talk about with Cross here is going to be about this person's burden, the trials and tribulations they've been through, the obstacles as to why they couldn't come forward, um, the guilt and suffering that they have uh, endured. Um, with religion here, it could be that someone had to get closer to God or closer to their spirituality to break free from something. We have Ryder here, Cancer. Expect either messages or if you live at a distance from this person, they are coming to meet you. If they have to travel to meet you, they will. Um, this could be an Aquarius. This could be an Aquarius. Spirit, tell me a little bit more about what we have going on here for Cancer with no contact, please. Cancers and no contact, please. We've got temperance, Sag energy. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles. We've got the Five of Pentacles. We have the Strength card. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles. The Empress is under the deck with the Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Wow. So Cancer, definitely expect communication here, okay? 100%. I see a very calm conversation, very healing conversation taking place. I feel like, Cancer, what this person's going to tell you is, you know, I don't know if we can make this work. I don't know if you'll ever forgive me. I don't even know how any of this happened. I can't believe this happened. Um, with the Strength card and the Queen of Pentacles, Cancer, again, we've got that Taurus energy on this woman card here. And now with this Queen of Pentacles, there could have been somebody in your person's energy that was definitely holding your person back. I do feel, Cancer, that this is a twin flame reunion, okay? I am seeing you guys working things out. I am seeing with the Four of Wands here and the Empress, somebody wanting to work things out with their Divine Feminine. With the Justice card and the Moon card, Cancer, your person, this third party here, 
And th the, Tauruses can be very stubborn, guys, okay? So if this third party was a Taurus or they had Taurus in their chart, this is somebody that could have potentially been very controlling, somebody that, you know, was doing everything they could to try to get your person under their thumb. I feel like this was a karmic. And this karmic held some type of secret, whether it was knowing that they weren't really pregnant or knowing that the child didn't belong to your person or with the moon card, they were hiding their true self. Like there could have been a negative energy, like a Jezebel spirit, um, or this person could have been into some form of witchcraft. Uh, I definitely feel like your person has overcome a, a, a lying energy. Somebody that was not lying and manipulating them. We've got the tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. I feel like all of a sudden with this third party, something breaks. Either your person finds out the baby isn't theirs or your person does some type of spiritual work. Okay, that breaks some type of spell. And with the sun card and the death card, your person actually could not be happier that they are leaving this situation behind. Leo energy, Scorpio energy, Aries energy, Pisces energy. Yeah, two of swords and the ten of wands. Your person was fed up with that shit. If, if your person thought someone was pregnant and they were working overtime, this is someone that feels relief that they don't have to uh, work two or three jobs just to maintain this child. Uh, if it was a Jezebel spirit that was overwhelming your person, your person now feels free and clear of that negative energy. I definitely see with the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups here, your person is not sure if they can get you back, but they really want to but they really want to. This person just wants to start over. With the star card and the emperor, this is a divine masculine that is being drawn into trying to get their divine feminine back. They know they don't deserve forgiveness. They are aware, but they still have to try. So a long overdue apology is coming your way, Cancer. I am seeing a reconciliation with a pre-empress. What did I tell you? Okay. I am seeing a reconciliation with a pre-empress. This person made a huge mistake and it has cost them a lot of time. It has cost them a lot of time, but they never forgot about you though. Tell me about cancer. Yeah. A lot of communication from this person, cancer. I, I don't see you with this night, uh, the nine of pentacles energy. I don't see you just jumping into this person's arms, uh, wanting reconciliation. I don't see you just jumping in full force, wanting to just, you know, jump on this person's lap. This person really hurt you. They betrayed you, especially if there was rumors that you got, that they got someone else pregnant. We've got the high priestess here and the five of swords cancer whether you um had proof or didn't have proof intuitively you knew that there was a third party in the picture intuitively you knew that your person sabotaged this connection on purpose to go sneak away towards a third party I feel that cancer, you may have waited. You may have waited for this person to come back and come to their senses. Maybe there was a part of you that always knew that they were going to come back. We've got the lover's card here and we've got the devil cancer. Now, let me just explain how these two cards tie into each other. And I find it interesting how, you know, the way they came out, lover's first, devil next, um, the lover's card is Adam Eve and the snake. It's a, it's a test from the divine. Are you going to choose the beautiful soul tie that I have gifted you with? Or are you going to choose temptation? Are you going to choose the snake? Okay. And as you can see here, you've got, you know, Adam Eve and the snake on the side. This person chose the snake. And now what you have is Adam and Eve being chained to this demonic entity or to this evil spirit or just to very negative energy. 
Yeah. I feel like your person walked away from you, Cancer, and made that hasty and reckless decision to move towards this third party energy. If this person claimed to be pregnant, they just rushed over there to try to help this pregnant person that isn't even pregnant or that is not pregnant with your person's child. I am seeing with the Two of Cups of Reconciliation, Cancer. I'm seeing this person coming forward and being extremely honest about their behavior, where they've been, and what they've been through. Cancer, this person's going to ask you to take a leap of faith to trust them again. They're going to tell you you won't regret it. I'm serious about this offer. I am. The Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, this person will ask, answer any questions that you have about the past. They will tell you any truth that you need to know to gain clarity, closure from what happened. They will answer it, okay? We've got the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups and the Six of Cups. I'm seeing a very emotional conversation about what happened in the past. Cancer, I think that you're single when this person comes towards you. I think you've gotten used to being alone. I think that, you know, at night when you're alone, you're still very stuck on this person and what they've put you through. Virgo energy, Capricorn energy. I feel like without knowing it, you've manifested this person back to you. And now that it's here, you're not sure if you want to accept this. You're not sure if you want to accept this. Well, you've got a decision to make, Cancer. I mean, you can either shut this person down and leave it alone because you feel like they're full of shit, or you can just shut this cycle out and be put on a pedestal that this person wants to put you on. But just to make it clear, Cancer, I do feel like this person is going to tell you, listen, I know you have no reason to believe me. I know you have no reason to trust me. I know how much I've hurt you. I am aware. But if you let me, I'll fix it. If you let me, I'll pull these swords out of your back and replace it with a cup of love. I'll try to heal every wound, okay? I'll try to heal every wound. So cancer, it's up to you. I mean, if you decide to take this opportunity, I don't feel like you'll regret it. Or if you decide to let it go, then this person's not going to fight with you because they know that they don't really deserve your forgiveness. All right, let's see what we have here for cancer and all 12. I'm just going to do a quickie tonight, okay? Let me know in the comments if you like the way I've been doing it, the way I did do it yesterday and the day before where the all 12s are a little bit longer. Just let me know. All right. If we're dealing with an Aries, the Hierophant and the Chariot, this person's ready to get married and be committed. Okay. If we're dealing with a Taurus, the Queen of Wands and the Two of Swords, a third party is being cut out of the picture. Um, or it could be that an Aries, Leo or a Sag is what's coming in between you guys and prolonging no communication. If we're dealing with a Gemini, we've got the Empress and the Emperor. Damn, Cancer. If you're dealing with a Gemini, this is your, your twin, your divine soulmate, okay? If we're dealing with another Cancer, we've got the Six of Swords and the King of Pentacles. I do feel like you guys are going to move out of a difficult place and there's going to be loyalty and commitment. If we're dealing with a Leo, we've got Temperance and the Three of Cups. There will be forgiveness and a reconciliation. If we're dealing with a Virgo, the Two of Wands and the Nine of Swords. This Virgo needs to make some type of decision and they are really stressed over it. Maybe they need to choose between you and someone else or they, they have to, maybe you're giving them an ultimatum. If we're dealing with a Libra, we've got the Tower and the Ace of Cups. I see you falling in love, head over heels in love with a Libra. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, the Death card and the Seven of Swords, this is ending because this person is sneaky, they're a liar, they're a cheat, and it's over. 
If we're dealing with a Sag, Six of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, uh, be careful, Cancer, because if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, this person could just be using you for superficial reasons like money and stuff like that. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, the Hanged Man and the Two of Pentacles, if you are waiting for this Capricorn to make a decision, you'll be waiting forever. If we're waiting for an, if we're waiting, if we're dealing with an Aquarius, we've got the full card and the page of swords. This Aquarius is just looking for a good time. They are not trying to roll up to your house with a moving truck. They got a backpack, maybe even not even a backpack. They plan on leaving as soon as they hit it and quit it. Okay. That this person's only looking for a good time. If you're dealing with a Pisces, this person is very withdrawn. They need time to think. Okay. All right, guys, I love you all so very much. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you soon. Take care, my darlings.